Hello, I'm Ibrahim Ajata. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Now, who is your iconic figure of the year 2011? As we welcome a whole new year, we'll be walking down through memory lane to discover personalities who made the year 2011 a really defining year for the Gambia. 2011, iconic reviews. A New Year special tonight on GRTS. 2011, iconic review on GRTS. As we receive a whole new year, GRTS walks down through memory lane to find out personalities who made 2011 a notable episode for the Gambia. Who is your iconic figure in 2011? Gambians press ahead to attain a lofty vision. President Jami is re-elected with a historic landslide, emphasizing the spectacle of an entire nation speaking in one voice. I dedicated this award to the spirit of the Gambian people for putting us on the map. The continent discovers the Gambia's inventive brains. Technology engineer Papanjai breaks the RCT spectrum on his way to corporate excellence, bringing him the much coveted Africa Award for Entrepreneurship. That's what I said in my interview that I dedicated this award to the spirit of the Gambian people for putting us on the map. Absolutely, because the competition was um, 3,300 companies, 48. Thank you, 48 African countries. You know, top 30 we were there, top 15 we were there. The judges came to Gambia. Like I said, it, it matters. It's important to tell people the story. It was just not something that they sat over there and decided. They came to Gambia to look at Gambia. The things we were doing as a business in Gambia spoke to a few clients of ours and went back and we were shortlisted for the last step. Then I went back for the final, which was to present to a panel of distinguished judges on, on, on things that, were, that we were doing on the ground, how we started, you know, to where we are and what our future plans are. So for me, it gives me immense pleasure that, you know, everything was made in Gambia because at the, at the end of the day, they came and saw themselves what was happening on the ground. So that's why I said I dedicate this award to the spirit of the Gambian people. people. Yes. And like you said, it started 12 years ago. Yes. Very long journey. Yes. And you got, uh, your customers are people behind you. And you really and you contributed to this great uh, feat. Yes. Now, uh, tell me, 12 years ago, mm -hmm. how uh, was the environment on the, on the region you were working? Well, I, I can say, you know, the environment is not, I think the right word to use is, over time, we've also had to prove ourselves. Because the environment has always been conducive. Because at the end of the day, I believe that all we ask for is an opportunity. If you give us the opportunity, over time, we will develop the capacity needed to take advantage of these opportunities. And I think over the past 12 years, that's exactly what we've been doing. We've been basically doing one thing at a time, we do it well, we get a referral, we do the next thing better. And I think there are two important characteristics here. That, you know, and and it's, it's very important that I say this, that we have been supported by the people of this country, which is the clients, but our, our business also is supported by the government of the day. Our clients are public institutions and also private institutions. But it is a mixture of both of them that has taken us to where we've gone. To. We've got a lot of support from the likes of JIPA, who have provided tremendous support from us right from the start to where we are now. So I believe, I keep saying, you, you cannot get to this level of recognition in Africa if you are not being supported by the customers, by the, by the powers uh, of the day, which is the government of the Gambia. So I'm of the opinion that, I, I will say it again, maybe I'm, I, I keep repeating it. it, it what can we learn from this? I think we can learn a number of things. Um, I, I've always said that the company has been built on a foundation of faith. We, we believe in Allah the Almighty. It's been a foundation of faith, perseverance, tolerance, honesty, and above all else, human resource capacity. This, is, this award is not only my, me, it's not Papa Yusuf and Jai. it's unique solutions. And unique solutions consist of my board, my staff, my management. I have wonderful staff 
together, anything is possible. Together, anything is possible. My staff have been brilliant in, 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 in over the past number of years in getting us this far. That, 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 that is one issue. It also talks about, it doesn't matter where you come from, because people see Gambia as a very small country, things of that sort. You know, small country, small population. But no, I think these awards clearly demonstrate that no matter where you're from, how small you are, entrepreneurship is alive in all parts of the world. And for us, being in Gambia, because I was competing with Nigeria, Uganda, 48 African countries. Yes. So, so what this keeps telling me is we're a unique people in this country. And I think if you look around, Gambians continue to distinguish themselves from the likes of Hatu Ben, ben, ben Suda to Hassan Jalo yeah. to many others who are holding, you know, international positions that we should be proud of. So my, my, my general feeling is, as you keep asking me, you know, if, 20, if 2011 turns out like this, it means that for 2012, sky is the limit. You know, we, we are excited that if you've come this far, this is the African continent. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to now put Gambia on the map. They always say tourists come to Gambia. Mm -hmm. But we also want to export Gambian business excellence mm -hmm. to the other parts of West Africa, Africa, and the rest of the world. And I think clearly, by God's grace, if I sit down with you... Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, what is the proposal for New Year? All right. Okay, you've, you've just led me into the next question. I mean, for 2012, I'll be honest with you, we want to make sure that we're heard outside Gambia. I think after, after getting this far, you know, being recognized in the African continent, not only after, in the African continent, we met the likes of Richard Branson and things like that. So, yes, it, it's, it's global. We have the opinion that we need to export Gambian business excellence to the rest of the sub-region and Africa and the world at large. I think this, the, 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 this, this, this really does. And, and if you know also in our sector, the ACE submarine cable is landing in Gambia. It's already landed, but it will be in operation in June, July. This is a public-private partnership which the government of the Gambia has brought the private sector as partners to make sure that reliable bandwidth is available in this country. And that, Ibrahim, is going to change the face of telecommunications in this country. You know, telephone calls will become cheaper, quality will be better, we will manage our own international capacity. So for me, this will open doors for job creation in this sector. We will now become attractive because when foreign investors come to the country, they ask about bandwidth capacity. Right now we are connected to SAT3 through Senegal. It's worked for a while. But we cannot have independence without owing, owning our own international band. And I think the um, collaboration between the government and the ICT private sector is something that will change the dynamics in, in, in 2012. And I will go back again to tell you that we need more public-private partnership. Government alone cannot do it. It is through government working with private sector that will get us to where we want to. And I will take this opportunity again to uh, express our sincere appreciation because I'm the interim chairman of the ISP Association of Gambia, which formed this consortium with government. So we are going to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President and his entire government, prime among whom is the Finance Minister and the Information Technology Minister, who were very key in bringing this opportunity to the doorsteps of the Gambian private sector.